Hello everybody! Uh, that would have been a good intro shot if these two people hadn't walked in front. But since last episode of Restaurant Tycoon 2, I've literally just served these people food and kicked these people out of my restaurant and took their money, if that makes sense. Anyway, episode 2, gonna do a um, tour soon. I'm basically making loads of these videos after each other. Probably gonna do four maybe. But previously, I played this game for multiple hours. So, I mean, this series could be like 10, 15, 20 episodes long. It all depends on how much you enjoy it and how much I enjoy making it. Because there's no point in me making something if I'm not enjoying it. But I'm enjoying it a lot. I still need to get myself a mouse pad. Because I don't want to damage my new desk. I'm really. Uh, impatient maybe because I just am. Alright, food, what is this? Cheese pizza. It's really hard to see because of the white on the floor. You want ramen? You want a tiger sushi? It's like a weird thing. Oh, I, don't, I don't actually don't know what it is. It just sounds weird. I let my chef do the cooking because I'm really lazy. But in this episode, I want to get a waitress and set up some more tables. Now, I'm talking two people tables. Now, usually, I go with the um, double sofa. But this time, I'm thinking of doing some booths. It will probably be the stylish booth. Because I think they look better. Um, $10 more. What's this? Camera mode controls. Click an item. That is really easy. Yeah, I'm probably going to get some stylish booths. They look better. My internet is not the best, so it may not be the best quality. I'm very sorry for that. Also, my laptop is very loud, although I'm in the process of getting a new one. It should hopefully be quieter. I, I've got a thing on my wall. And I, I, I just looked at it and it didn't look straight, but I don't know if it, if it is straight or if it's not, and now I'm really annoyed because I don't know if it's straight or not, and I want to move it. But then I might move it and it won't look straight anymore. If that makes sense. It's very, quite an annoying. Not knowing whether it's straight or not. So I want one of those things that has like a bubble in it. And the bubble goes... It moves to the side. Depending on whether it's like straight or not. Though I know those things have a name. But I am really lazy. So I'm not going to look it up. Here you go. Give me all your money. That's probably not the best way to talk to customers. Oh well. I won. Un. Stylish booth. I have been removed as manager from that person that gave me manager last time. Don't really mind because I don't know why I was manager in the first place. Booth. For one. I just need. Oops. Just need. A table. Um. What table? I could get a medium dining table. That one looks nice. Or I could just get a dining table. How much are they? That one is 120. This one is 60. But it's like... I might go for that one because it's very cost efficient. Yeah, I'm probably going to go for that one. It's very cost efficient. Also, there's a coffee table. I can't see how big it is because it's lagging but a medium dining table fits perfectly in there and is only like how much was it 60 70 can't remember now but day three i'm gonna give this person the burrito why are you standing outside you know you can come in like we're not closed tables yes it's 60 so now we have created four person table which is very nice indeed we go, we've got four people already looking for a table. So I'm probably going to set up probably a booth and then a gap and then a booth and then a gap and then... Yeah, so there'll be two four-seater tables on either side. I'm probably going to have to move these chairs. I might move them this way, so like chair, table, chair, although that might mess up my booth. I could do a booth this way, although that wouldn't kind of match but I just 
do all as we go along. The next thing I want to make is I want to make the next thing I want to get is a waitress that way I can just be in the kitchen cooking food. I might get another chef, but then we don't really need another chef seeing as my chef's basically doing all the work himself. So we don't need another one. And a waitress would be nice to have for obviously like I can just be in the kitchen. But I think there's moods for your shifts. Yeah, here we go. They've got happiness, which is how based on how much work they're doing and how many other people are working there. I think their level, which is like, I think they get quicker or something. Don't know. Customize, I can make them look different, can boost their happiness, or I can fire them. Which is good if you have too many chefs, because I think you have to pay them regularly as well so if you've got too many it will be good what is this chicken wings you want chicken wings you want chicken wings tomato soup for you it's a bit like a maze at the moment like that's what I'm feeling there is a pack here which is an outdoor pack I, I have no idea what the furniture is and I have no idea what the music is I'm, I'm still tempted to buy it just because I want something different I actually haven't looked at the music yet, which is something I wanted to do, if I can remember where it is. Uh, here we go. Well, no, this isn't the music that I'm looking for, but there's card payments, which requires tips. So, waiter trays allows me to carry more than one thing I want at once, but I don't really need that. Tip jars allows people to... It allows me to place on a tip jar for which people think pay me more money. Expanded plot, I think, doubles my plot. Basic ad... Buy the book. I don't know what's wrong with my mouth at the moment. But basic advertising increases my customer levels, which I think means they can buy more expensive stuff. Card payments means that a percentage of the people that come in, I won't have to pick up their money. Expanded plot. Expands my plot. More advertising. More expanded plot. Uh, outdoor expansion, which is quite nice. Oh, that's here. Ex outdoor expansion, which is outside. Never had that before. I've only ever got to there. Uh, drive through is a drive through, which means people can drive through. Well, it was broken last time I played. Eric had drive through and it was a bit broken. Delivery sounds fun. Like I can deliver piece people pizza, like in um, Bloxburg, second floor, which is one thing that I really want because it just looks really nice like you can customize it a lot more but I'm not the expert I don't know why I need more than one dish because I can literally just stand on this guy's chair and just do everything at once also people won't buy drinks unless you have a fridge which fridges used to be useless like I don't know like when they first got added in this one but now people actually won't buy drinks unless there's a fridge so it's like really useful to have and get more money also something I like doing is where's fences 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 uh, miss fence where are the fences I'm not gonna come out until I find the fences uh, nature could be used as a fence I guess but where's my where's the proper fences signs shells I'm really annoyed now that I can't find them fences it shouldn't be that hard to, oh here we go there ain't other oh some wall panels pillars outdoor pack which actually looks quite good I might get that uh, it's these wooden borders. That that's what I was looking for. Cause I like putting them along all the side. That way they're all like the same height, and it looks nice. Or well, at least I think it looks nice. Cause obviously everyone deserves their own opinion, except if it's Eric. But don't tell him I said that. Uh, what what is there to put? Like one thing. Okay. Well, let me collect this money, which I did do. I've been recording for 10 minutes. I've basically just been cooking. 
which might not be the most fun thing to watch. So, I'm going to save up a bit of money off camera, and then when I come back, we'll have some more money. We can do more extensions for another booth, and maybe a rearrange of the rest of the furniture. So, I'll see you in will be a few seconds for you, but will probably be a few minutes for me. Also, before I go, you can see there's people here ordering cola from the fridge and then you can just see my mouse disappears and that's when it goes on to my recording thing but anyway see you in a few minutes for me but a few seconds for you now guys um been playing for a bit who wants you want this been playing for a bit got money now I'm not sure whether I wanna get a way her waitress or waiter, I don't really care. Or get a booth. Now I'm thinking I get a waitress or I don't really know where it is. And then to waiter. Then they can just, you know, serve people's meals meals. I mean they can all the drinks because drinks take forever and I'm lazy. So they can do this, and then I can just help out. So I feel like this will be more useful. But I am still going to get the booth in, so I'll see you guys in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I finally have enough money to do this moving around thingy, my bobby. Uh, I'm probably going to put the booth the same place or wait no I'm probably gonna put it on this side so I need my table now here's where the problem comes in is that we've got chairs here uh, I need to empty my restaurant okay restaurant close uh, empty go I need to do this quickly so that we go. Right, this isn't gonna be actually if I do a booth there then I'll be able to do oops. like that. Now I know that's not symmetrical and that's kind of annoying but then I'll just kind of like move this and then it's eventually I'll get a double table to go in the middle uh that's a problem though because then um, if I put the booth there then I won't be able to do one here because this is where my thing is so maybe I do it like that, that way there's four spaces. And then I have to have four spaces on this side. Hmm. Or I still want to give myself spaces. So there's a table, table, and table. So table, table, table. I could do Like this. Wait, where's the table? Three table, table, table. So I can put it like this, and the table there or back there, and a gap for there. So this does work. Okay, it does work except, and it's symmetrical, not symmetrical, just in the middle. So I'll need chairs, my booths. I mean, I could just do it like this and make like a really long one. But I don't want to do that. I want to give people space to get in and out of their chairs. You know, so a nice person. Okay, an extra table is $50, but 
day five. That is good. Also, you can move around during this one. I think that's funny. Mm, open. There you go. Two booths. Some nice tables. I'll put another one here. Then that'll probably be it. And obviously, I'm not going to put another booth here, but I'll put three along the other side. Then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four people tables, and then four, three. Do I want one here though? Because then I won't be able to get. I could do here, here, here. Turn this one down there, and then go here and here, and then do a double in the middle. Oh, yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. Not yet though, because I don't need it yet. But that's what I will do when I do need it. But anyway, I think that'll be the end of this video. So three, three episode two, restaurant taking two. Um, anyway, yeah. Please like, comment if you have any names or suggestions of things for a restaurant. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.